Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Pisces for the month of March 2020. Um, it is a general reading. It will not resonate with each and every one of you. If you, you know, if this is not your story, check your moon and your rising sign. If you do not find your messages there, simply check back in the following week when I put out a new message for your sign. So I am doing something new. Um, so I would like you to think of a question that you are seeking an answer to, and I will answer it with this card at the end of the reading. So let's begin. For whom, uh, whomever this is for, you suffered an emotional loss uh, with someone. Um, you may feel that they had bad intentions or wicked intentions or um, that they've deceived you in some way. Um, you struggle uh, with this loss. Um, you could be even... Um, you could be trying to hide these feelings, you know, trying to pretend that everything's okay and it's not. So the person who did this, okay, but understand, <laughs> the energies can be vice versa. I'm reading it as though it is happening to you and that you are the one that feels deceived, okay? But it can, know that it can be vice versa. So the person whom... Um, whom you've lost, uh, who did this to you. They're coming back um, and they carry a deception on, um, on their back, but they're coming back. They've done a lot of thinking about this. It has burdened them. Um, they're coming forward and it has taken maybe a long time. Uh, they've done a lot of thinking. Um, I feel as though it has taken a lot of courage to come forth, to face up uh, or face you uh, and to do the right thing. You could have been uh, married to this person, possibly, or that they were married, um, because I do have the Ten of Coins here, and this is what is on your mind, um, along with the Ace of Cups. And um, with this Nine of Cups here, uh, it's more of a card of... Um, emotions that lie beneath the surface so these are emotions you have very deep intense emotions having to do with that relationship um, with the love you feel for this person or that you are still feeling this love that you've been unable to get over this person and all of these feelings um, are they're hidden within you so um Things perhaps that you have not spoken about. And that could, you know, that's very much, uh, I feel, um, feeling over emotional um, with regards to the loss or the, the deception or what was hidden. So this person, they come back around after, uh, I feel, a lengthy period of time. Um, wanting to do the right thing, they seem to now have figured out um, how they really feel. I have both the king and the queen of the same suit, so we see that uh, there is a couple. This is a couple, can be of any suit uh, or of any sign. Um, and they are in the upright, which is positive. 
um, but she has her back turned because she's looking completely that way and he is looking forward. Um, so he comes back in after much time, took a lot of courage, um, but he's coming forward, knows what he wants now um, because he's gone from a knight to a king. And um, he comes in seeking forgiveness, understanding, cooperation, um, now ready to work together towards a common goal. I feel that in every, all these areas, the person seems to be down on their knees, down on their knees, down on their knees, down on their knees, and down on their knees. So you got four cards where this person is down on their knees. Um, wanting to do the right thing. You, um, yeah, they're facing facing this challenge down so they're hoping for your forgiveness I have the same type of imagery going on in these two cards hoping for understanding but this person uh, I feel like you're still angry, even though a lot of time has passed. I don't feel that your anger has cooled or that their reappearance may make all of these emotions resurface in you because you feel that they've done something very wrong. Still, you are still very attracted to this person. This is that person that you feel like you've known them your entire life. This is that soul connection. Still, they come back, uh, but you are not ready, I feel, to forgive them for what they've done. But you do want the new beginning. This is clear to me because you're looking at the Empress and you're looking at your cup. But anger is still here behind you for what happened in the past. And so you are reflecting, um, turning everything around in your mind. You're going over everything, how you fell for this person, uh, the things they've told you, the things they've done, the deception, the walking away um, because of whatever happened here. You are pouring over the past. And all of these feelings are resurfacing. It's almost like stepping back in time. And so you do deeply desire this person, but you're not telling them that, that you're keeping uh, to yourself for now. So they will have the impression that you will not forgive them. But beneath it, we know what the truth is. The truth is you want to forgive them. Um, you do love this person and you do want this beginning. You just don't trust it or not trusting in it. Or you may feel that they are coming back still, you know, um, being deceptive that they are wearing two faces whatever you're feeling uh, you would still be keeping this hidden you're still hurting 
with that Ten of Swords energy, very dark. And you're, you fear that you would not be able to um, perhaps move past this or that you um, would be able to um, transform this relationship. But death, death rides into the relationship and it is in this deck, it is welcome, a welcome change. even though you fear it. In the past, this person did not play by the rules and what they did caused a lot of damage and you did escape from that. But you are still feeling the Three of Swords. So you're still feeling the fallout you're still feeling the pain. You have not yet gotten over that. So you, I feel, will be biding your time here because clearly we can see that there's two sides and that you're torn. Are they lying to me is going to be on your mind. Can we bring uh, balance back to this situation? Can I forgive? Can I let it go? Because if you can't let it go, this is, you know, not going to work. So you've got all these fears. The future seems unclear. Um, you're trapped in these fears, but it is minor arcana. You can release yourself from that, but you must choose to, you know. Um, you suspect them because of uh, past experiences uh, that you have not forgotten. So you suspect that... Um, that they would hurt you again. So it causes you a lot of despair. The relationship in the past struggled and it came to an end and it has caused you a lot of uh, anxiety, feeling like there was just no way out the person was dishonest. Um, but there is news. You have the message card and there will be a discussion, a very private discussion. You're being given another opportunity with this person. Um, You have the card of spirit, you have the chalice, you have the sun, you have the serpent and the seer. You will have your answer soon as to whether um, you can uh, re have this rebirth. In the past, you may not have seen uh, <clears throat> this person's uh, deception uh, it's because the snake slithers through the grass unseen till it's too late um, this is what scares you so you're being very careful um, but you do have this new opportunity and you will um, ultimately make a decision on it um, you will get your answer, um, the answer which you seek. You will get clarity on that which appears to be very cloudy at this time because you have the sun. The sun speaks to clarity and success, uh, perseverance uh, and persevering um, 
and gaining success. Perseverance that brings rewards. So, now, um, you will be making a decision on this. You will be getting clear. Um, now, I want you to think of that question that you had and that I asked you in the beginning. So, the answer to your question is yes. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking and sharing my videos and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has donated to my channel. I wish you all the best. Many blessings to you.